Scorpion here. Today, I got a banging burger recipe for your Labrador Day weekend. I love Labradors. So cute and cuddly. They're my favorite dog, besides your mother. <laughs> now the first thing you gotta do to make sure you have the most banging bovine barbecue on the block, I mean, just sort of calling the police and saying there's a sex trafficking ring going on next door, is you gotta have a good recipe. Step one, you wanna get your meat. Ugh. Squeeze it out, ooh, that's right. Ooh, that's what it looks like after you have some asparagus for the first time. <laughs> ooh, you wanna make sure you tenderize your meat. No, I'm not talking about like when you were in high school in the shower and your dad would knock on the door complaining about the fucking water bill being sky high. I'm talking about bona fide meat juice. <laughs> like this. <laughs> Babology. God damn it, Karen. I wanted two double shots of espresso in my tropical cafe frappe latte. Okay. Ugh. Better up. Once you have your breasted beef all abused and ready to go, it's time to add a little spice to your life. That's right, you f***ing loser. You're gonna add a pinch of salt, a poke of paprika, and a come hither of oregano. You wanna add a splash or two of bleach to make sure your beef stays clean through those long night exchanges. <laughs> you wanna add a few droplets of armpit juice. You know what they say, the pheromones get the bitches. Oh, yeah. Oh. Never noticed that B.O. always smells like Taco Bell. And since we're using grass fed, you want to make sure you're using weed be gone. You don't want Jack and the Beanstalk growing out of your anus. No uh. fucking be. And of course, what makes a meal taste any sweeter than the blood of your enemies? Logically, our next ingredient is the shredded love letter of a high school romance gone south. <clears throat> Dear Scorpion, my heart is chill as the winter's blight, as I stand here in the blackest night. <laughs> you know I can be the only one to bring back, bring me back into the sun. Fucking mother, fucking. Fucking bitch. Well, the only way I know how to rekindle a flame is a little bit of lighter fluid. Now most people pour this on the grill, we pour it directly on our meat. What's that remind you of? After a night of drinking, you wake up with a raging hard mega boner? Ugh. Jeez. You know when you wake up in the morning and you, with a huge boner and you can't figure out the, the correct way to pee? You know what I mean? Like, do I... How to pee with a boner? Whatever happened to Jeopardy? Now that your shitty beefsteak is seasoned with more love and hate than the fantasy romance novel section of your local Barnes and Noble, it's time to take this bitch to the grill and set the roof on fire. Now that your meat is beat and seasoned, it's time to light up a beef teepee and call in the Thunderbird to make it rain dance on these hoes. Meat, it is the glue that binds all man together. Let's do it. If you ever want to know what happened to Scorpion's dreams. <laughs> uh. What's up guys, Josh here. Uh, and this episode was sponsored by Lisa, uh, one of our Patreon subscribers who uh, got to vote on what Scorpion should cook next. Uh, make sure you subscribe and uh, subscribe to our new channel, Ugly But Funny, where we do a lot of pranks. Uh, and we do a lot of stupid shit, All for you guys, because we love you. Um, please keep watching, uh, have a safe holiday. Actually, don't blow things up with fire. I mean, you can just, you didn't hear it from me. Uh, all right, I'm out. Love you. All right, I'm done.